Uh, welcome back to Grassy Fields in the middle of a tower. That's interesting. Now, from what I remember of this place, there aren't any treasures in these wide open areas. And they just kind of simulate other places you've been to. So, like, this is real early game stuff right here. As you can see with slimes, I'm pretty sure all of the things that you can fight on this floor are going to be super, super early game. And I don't believe there are any treasures here. So that's going to be neat. Um, I'll still probably swing around the whole place just to make sure. But I, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no treasures. I'll probably end up doing some speed ups. Uh, just in case. I'm pretty sure this is just walking around trying to find the next floor. And I think that's pretty much how the rest of this tower goes. If I recall correctly. Ah, uh, there's... I believe that's the next floor. Not even worth my time. Yeah, there's the next floor. Um, I am gonna just pop down to this corner real quick. Make sure that there's nothing here. Wish I could move faster in the overworld, but it's an old RPG. There is no run button. Go. And... Nothing. Okay. Worth a check. Would have been sad if I if there were treasures and I missed them. Well, actually, if there were treasures and I missed them, I wouldn't have known. So I guess I really wouldn't have been sad. <laughs> but hey, sometimes you find treasures that are absolutely necessary to progress in the game. But, oh, and now we're in the rainy section. Okay. We've got some zombies, so slightly tougher enemies, but still nothing bad at all, really. Is this the one? Yeah. Okay. So it still keeps me in the same spot in three-dimensional space. Which means I would have been up in the top left, or top right corner. Which means this next floor is probably going to be over here in this bottom left corner, but we'll find out. Yep, there it is. All right, I am gonna just head straight up here and see if there's anything I'm missing. I'm not gonna be super thorough on these floors just because I don't recall there being anything here. Also, this is kind of a kind of a seizure to look at. I don't know how it's raining on this floor, but magic, clearly. Oh, I love it when I can get 999. There we go. Alright. Let's swing up over here. Take these guys out. There we go. Head on up. Now we're on the desert floor. All right, fair enough. As such, we're gonna have the desert enemies. Still, nothing to worry about. Huh. Uh, this seems to have me in a different spot. Did it put me in the middle of the map? Well, that's weird. But okay, pretty sure I found the next exit. <laughs> yep, there it is. All right, cool. That was weird. Sure, whatever. Uh, icy planes? Oh, and if you, just like with the, the dream tower, if you head down through those little things, they take you to the very bottom. They just take you outside. And then you have to climb all the way back up. So I'm not going to do that. 
But if you are out of magic with, uh, if you really need to get out and heal, that's a good way to do it. Um, if you are, don't have enough magic to use exit with blue, and you are just really out of luck, uh, you can just do that and you can get out of here. Oh, he actually survived. What's up with that? Well, there he goes. I'm pretty sure I got more XP before. I think you might get more XP if you take opponents out on the first round. I don't actually know. There are some weird mechanics in this game. That usually are not terribly important, but they are there. Alright, cool. Yeah, I do think... Yeah, I think that's how it works. I think you get more XP if you take out an opponent on the first round of battle. Well, that's neat. Weird mechanics that I never noticed before. Oh no, I've been silenced. Alright, uh, let's just auto battle. So I'm never really gonna take these- Alright, well here's gonna be a good test. Uh, when I did manage to take him down in one round of battle, I got 2,700 experience. Yep, you get more if you take him out in the first round. Alright, cool. Well, that's how that works. That's why I keep seeing weird fluctuations in, uh... XP. Good to know! Just gonna auto battle these guys. The only way to take them out in the first round is if you get crits with like multiple people, and it, one of those people has to be Karn. So I'm not that worried about it. He also does not really do a whole lot of damage, so I'm also not worried there. That exit's probably going to be over here. Finding a lot of flowers. Yeah, this is the... These are the enemies that we see outside this place. Which has been the only frosty place, so that makes sense. Even though it's not supposed to be frosty, but, you know, whatever. Although that's weird, we never really encountered a super rainy area either, so I don't know. But, you know what? Wives will take it. <laughs> Why not? They could have just had an underwater area and made us fight fish. The Sky Tower is... an interesting dungeon. But I'm not gonna say it's... It's definitely not one of the stronger ones. It's very interesting. Kind of gives you a little bit of a look back on all the places you've been and all the things you've done. But... Oh, and now we've hit Sky World. All right. So let's see if I can just cheat this a little bit by just heading this way. Ah. Well, if it's just a single dart flea, that's not a problem at all. <laughs> that's not a problem at all. So if I had to guess, it's gonna be to the left and down. Firebird, okay. Again, if it's just one of them, not really a problem. All right, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be down here. Okay, this could be more of a problem. Uh, I believe this will do it. They're probably going to get some hits in, but that's okay. As long as they don't use their insta-kills. Right. 
There's one. Oh, cool. Nina actually managed to do it. Oh, and she does do more damage to those things with her physical attack than with the E-key. Or with the... Flame. All right. Good to know. Unexpected, but good to know. Yep, there it is. I also kind of enjoy the differences in clouds here. We've got some of them that are just really zooming and then other ones that are just kind of, eh, whatever. Oh, and now we're in space. All right, cool. Enemies aren't really changing at all. <laughs> That's not too big of a deal. So let's just head over this way because it's probably gonna be on the top right. I know this thing's game now. Okay. At least one of these guys is gonna survive. Don't you? Oh, that's fine. You can do silence, just don't do shock. Hey. Alright. Nice. Alright, cool. Just one more. And slam for good measure. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh shit, those things can drop M drops. Nice. I like M drops. Oh. Okay. Um, I don't trust these things, so let's just everyone attack the same one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so good to know. Flame Ripper should be able to take out one of these guys, no problem. They just have a lot of defense. Probably metal fleas, if I had to guess. It's very dragon questy. Completely different series, but appropriate of the time. And they give a lot of XP. All right, cool. Probably give, like, 5,000 if you take them out in the first round. Hopefully I can fight more of those things, because I can definitely take them all out in the first round. Flame Rapier is going to be able to probably take one of them out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have either 90 or slightly less than 90 er, health anyway, so the Flame Rapier is going to be able to just take them out no matter what. Neat. Oh, wow, it's actually not here. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and... Flame, scratch, and attack. Alright, cool. Also, can confirm, uh, Gold Dragon does completely wreck these guys, because they are undead. Gold Dragon only works on undead, but it does a lot of damage to them. Fortunately, it takes two turns to set it up. So in that time, it's probably just gonna be better to just hit them twice, um, frankly. Okay, let's go ahead and switch in blue here. machine has a place for a key. And here is said key. And here is said moat. All right. I beat you to the key, and I've got a surprise for you. Is this all just been a dream? Oh. No, but now we're in a dream. Okay, this is the world of dreams controlled by Moat. Alright. We cannot return to our world unless we defeat him. So Moat has thrown us into his fancy dream world. Moat's conscience can tell you where he is. When I climbed the spire, Moat was waiting for me at the top. I've been trapped here ever since. Alright. Well, that's twist. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, good on you, game. Welcome to the item shop. What you got? 
Uh, nothing I particularly need. I will sleep, though. Inside this dream world. How does that work? I guess he threw us into his own head? Is how this works? Moat's dream world is weird. I don't understand the mechanics. <laughs> I protect the sky key. I can only give it to a true hero. But things are different in the world of dreams. Oh, so that was the ghost that was supposed to be protecting the sky key, but Moat also threw him in here. Well, that could be a problem. I guess we'll go ahead and bring Mogu back to the front of the party. Go ahead and save. I guess let's keep moving on forward. Alright, so this place is just as bleak as the last one. Is there anything on that big platform? Kind of just wraps around. Okay. That's neat. Can't actually go this way. Not seeing a whole lot of point in heading up this just yet. I'm also not seeing that there's random encounters in Moat Stream World. Uh, oh, maybe I do have to go down and around. Yeah, it looks like I probably do. Alright, fair enough. Well, you know what I'm gonna do then? Since I can't hunt or anything here, let's just go full on into it. Get that full damage form, baby! With the weird duck thing. <laughs> I don't know. Like, this form is definitely stronger. Um, I believe it has an attack that always does 999 damage. Um, it's just... It's... Rarest attack to use. It has three attacks it can use. Um, it yells, it roars, or it yells, it body rolls, and I don't remember what the third one is. Um, but I'm pretty sure the rarest one always does 999 damage. Or at least it does a shit ton. Um, I don't actually recall if it's more consistent, damage is more consistent to use the other forms as opposed to this one. Oh. I'm gonna guess there's a basement down here? Oh, maybe not. Okay. Um, well, rather than going to a new floor, let's head on up. And actually, you know what? I should probably just go to next episode and explore this place then. Uh, so I'm gonna take out these dark fleas, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with more Breath of Fire.